What's up? No. Hello. You I ready to eat some lunch or something? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what spot's like the most unique to eat, and, like the craziest food. What you got going on there? I don't know what I got myself into. I looked up different things about Catalina Island food, and this is something that they do on the actual tour that we're not going to do because it's really expensive, so I just looked up the list. I didn't realize coming in here that it's a shot that they do. It's called Spicy Mexican Lollipop, and it has watermelon pucker, Tabasco. It's huge. Okay. You have fun with that. Would Delos, would Delos do it, honey? <laughs> do it for Delos. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's spicy. Yeah, it's Tabasco. It's stuck in my teeth. It's stuck in your teeth? <laughs> Is it good? You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. There you go. Oh my goodness, my lips are on fire. It's making my eyes cringe. Well, you did good. Oh. So how was it? <laughs> it's stuck in my throat. How'd that shot make you feel? days uh, the island's been great we finally found a little coffee spot that's pretty yeah. darn good <laughs> we love yeah. our coffee yeah. nothing like a French press though for sure because today we're gonna walk around see some shops they have lots of like neat boating stuff sailing stuff we're gonna try to go take some pictures explore it's not your usual like setup it almost has like a European feel to it the island so you know when you're out there looking around that's what it feels like when you're coming up on a boat it looks like you're coming up to a place maybe in Greece or something like that. Lots of 
family owned spots as well, which is really neat. So what I've learned so far is usually, you know, if you've ever here, it's because there's been generations here and they've kind of carried on the family businesses. So lots of like mom and pop and kids are involved too, it's cool. That sucks. Yeah. So <laughs> we are out of clean clothes. Here it is. It's out of service. Now we have to wear dirty clothes. Check out their groceries. This is tiny. Definitely could not fit two carts in this aisle. <laughs> Notice this, and I've actually read a lot about it. It's the, the Inn at Mount Ada, or Ada. I'm gonna go with Ada. It was built in 1919 by William Wrigley Jr. He also owned 99% of Santa Catalina Island, which we call Catalina Island. They use this as like their summer getaway from what I've learned. And even after he passed away about 10 years after building it, his wife continued to come until 1947. Now it's gone through a course of different actions, but today they use it as a very luxury hotel and it's said that you'll be treated like royalty if you stay here in one of the six suites. So really great place and I'd love to see it, but of course we're not staying here. It's more for, I don't know, the people that can afford it. <laughs> Mommy. So what do you think of our drone? It's great. Daddy, I go pop. Yeah. I go pop. Oh yeah? You go pop? I go pop, Mommy. <laughs> Here's our drone. Here it goes. Now go. Right over the golf course. charters to take the captain that we chose was the best review that we could find he owns two balls here and the boat and that's what he does he charters he grew up here like everybody else great captain though took us out there right out of this mooring field and it was a great little sail
life going on here. You see lots of people fishing, diving, kids camps, which are really neat. Just kind of taking it all in. It's a little cold in the shade, but as soon as you hit the sun, you're golden. Trimaran, our first time on a Trimaran ever. Really awesome. Um, the inside's pretty classic. It's a great looking boat. Uh, really nice captain. And uh, just having fun with it. I'm in my bikini, hanging out, chilling. The baby's napping. It's really nice. I mean, it was a little rocky at first, um, but now that we're out here, it's pretty calm. I think we're supposed to be pulling like a 8 to 10, 8 to 11. Um, so it should be a really nice sale. Beautiful, definitely makes me feel like I could be here. <laughs> 